Welcome, everybody. I'm going to be talking about driving value through cloud applications and data modernization. Uh, some good content kind of building up on that, on developing code and using code. Here, you know, really what my presentation is going to cover is a lot of the why. Uh, why are we doing all that? Um, if you uh, aren't familiar with me, I uh, am a product manager for CloudReach, a uh, a multi-cloud CSP. I also hold multiple certifications and you can reach me on social media. I'm happy to uh, answer any questions anybody has. I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer, so I do a lot of technical training as well. Um, just real quick, give a quick uh, quick overview on cloud reach, but mostly we're going to cover, you know, what is keeping us from modernizing? What, you know, what is, uh, you know, what are we? What are some of those barriers that we have for uh, for app modernization and data modernization? Why do we want to modernize? Uh, and then uh, we're going to fin wrap up with some benefits uh, and use cases, and uh, and a little bit around CloudReach's approach uh, to app and data modernization. So uh, a little bit about CloudReach. Uh, we're a consulting managed services and software provider. Uh, we're cloud native uh, with AWS. Azure and GCP capabilities. We're top tier uh, partner for all three of those. Uh, and we have uh, over a thousand enterprise level customers. And really uh, our approach is technology and people and enabling, uh, enabling our customers uh, the ability to get into the cloud and get into these platforms and to, uh, and to modernize. And, and why do we do that? Uh, you know, modernizing is hard, you know, taking our, uh, you know, taking what we have in our own data centers and, uh, and trying to uh, move them, not just rehost them in the cloud, but really take, take, hold of the benefits of the cloud uh, become really difficult. Uh, you know, we need to re, you know, re uh, factor and re uh, design a lot of those applications uh, as Craig was even talking about in the previous uh, presentation. And we have the, you know, most enterprises have this enormous hybrid infrastructure footprint that's already in place and, and a lot of parity among uh, among those applications and some specialized expertise around each of those applications. You know, it's usually uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, there's somebody that's been with the company for a long time that may have developed some of these applications. Uh, it might be, uh, you know, web developers uh, and just really specialized among an app developer, you know, app to app, it's very, it's a very specialized industry. So, why do we want to do it though? And what is the reason for it? Uh, mainly, uh, you know, it's savings. Uh, if we can modernize our applications and make them cloud native, uh, we're going, you know, there's a, a very strong, uh, a strong um, driver to, uh, to save money using the platforms of the cloud, using the scalability of the cloud, being able to scale in and out for our applications to handle a large amount of users without needing to uh, to purchase more hardware. Uh, the agility, again, uh, that's really goes along with that scaling in and out, moving to different regions, standing up applications to, uh, to really have a more global reach uh, to our customers and to our users uh, and, uh, and really and really value. And, and, and if I can really add on to that, you know, uh, value as well as, uh, as maintaining viability. Uh, as you know, because if you get an application built cloud native and on a platform within a cloud provider, you don't have to worry so much about upgrading operating systems anymore. And you really get a lot of value out of the cloud from that standpoint. And that application and data modernization can realize those improvements and, and optimize your most important asset, which is your data. So key value proposition here then is, is obviously, you know, we need, you know, it, as I stated, modernization is hard. And so we need to alleviate that pain. We need to make, uh, we need to meet the needs of, of your company, of your organization, and we need, and you need to have success. So moving, you know, as we, as you move and modernize your applications and move to uh, move to the cloud provider, uh, those all need to really be put in play and put in place and think about, you know, and the different, and it looks different for 
the different executives and uh, and personas within your organization as to you know where those pain points are, what those needs are, and what is success. So putting together a very strong strategy is going to be very important. I'll talk about that in a couple of slides here. Um, here's some of those personas and you know a couple a few uh, example personas and where those kind of fall into play uh, within uh, within those those needs and pains and all of that. They have different pains, they have different gains, they have different goals, uh, and so you need to if if you're the uh, if you're the IT group that is looking to modernize these applications, you need to take these all into account. I'm not going to go through each one of these uh, specifically. You can go back and review the recording and and uh, and point each of these out. But uh, but the key the key point here is everybody has a different has a different driver uh, for going to the cloud, and we need to make sure. Uh, for success to be seen for moving and uh, modernizing an application and, and, your, and your data into the cloud, the, these goals all need to be hit. And how do we do that? And how do we drive that value? And like I said, data is our most, most important asset. So moving our data and making sure that our data strategy is strong uh, becomes, uh, becomes incredibly important. Uh, and so what you can, you know, what you need to do is follow some sort of framework. And this framework that we follow in terms of data strategy follows along the means, uh, the lines of the Microsoft cloud adoption framework, where, you know, where we're defining the strategy. And this really goes where we're, where we're identifying those personas, we're identifying who, uh, what the key business outcomes are going to be through each of those personas. Who are the stakeholders? Who's going to identify uh, with our uh, app and data modernization and determine where success lies. If we don't do the, our due diligence and our due care in this first step, uh, everything else uh, beyond that is uh, is really moot. We're not going to uh, necessarily find what we can, you know, find that business driver and under, and really be able to then leverage and 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 quantify success when we get to the end of our adoption and and really innovate our applications at that point. And so, you know, utilizing, uh, you know, finding that strategy and then find, you know, and then looking at, you know, the different platforms that you have available to build your data pipelines and start small. And that's our data strategy is generally start small, identify a, a, a typical, a, a, a possible persona, a possible data pipeline uh, and utilization of data that is maybe under uh, where raw data is being underutilized and find a means for uh, for that to go to be brought into a pipeline and ingested, uh, transformed then and and put into some sort of visualization like Power BI uh, for uh, to show them that value that here's what your data uh, here's what we've done, and here's how we've transformed your data to something usable, like you know, customer buying habits or something like that. Those are you know, ways to do that, and we've done that with uh, with uh, with some different customers. Uh, there's one here where we've actually used some natural language processing and and business intelligence to uh, to again look at buying habits and understand what you know customer uh, reviews and identify uh, ways to uh, to better meet the needs of our customers. Our data modernization and uh, and app modernization piece is called uh, smart modernization. And key thing here is what we're doing is we're alleviating those pains. We're software. We're making this software enable. We have a product, uh, a software product that we uh, that we rolled out. Uh, actually, went general availability last week called Sunstone. Uh, we use uh, use cloud native tools like uh, like Azure Data Lakes and uh, and uh, machine learning driven. Uh, Driven, uh, driven cloud native products, and then our expertise in delivering and accelerating those solutions and those pipelines are all uh, are all things that we how we uh, create this uh, software enabled migration and modernization to your organization. And here's how Sunstone kind of kind of works real briefly. Uh, it ingests uh, information from the AWS and the Azure uh, GCP or on-premises estate 
finds ways to then modernize uh, your applications as well as your databases where we can containerize if pop possible, uh, where we can uh, platform, uh, bring, uh, bring in database platforms, uh, go to serverless uh, recommendations and provides a really prioritization uh, for modernization for your company. And just to wrap up, let's, you know, I thought to, you know, a good case study always and, and a way that this was utilized uh, is really helpful. Um, we, uh, we took a business and needed to, and ha had a collaborative engagement. As I said, we spend a lot of time with our customers, with, a, with our advisor, you know, our advisory team. Uh, the account, you know, was, uh, was having a uh, having a lot of sh uh, poorly maintained shadow IT. Uh, they were looking for CloudReach to, uh, to find some modernization options. And we utilized Sunstone. This is one of our beta, our beta test companies. Uh, and they discovered and identified, uh, Sunstone discovered and identified uh, over a hundred nodes that uh, in their cloud inventory and found that there were 17 virtual machine instances that were self-hosted uh, and, and that they could move to cloud managed services, also assessed the data environment and found ways to utilize, uh, utilize cloud native uh, compute and database products like Kubernetes and Mongo, you know, Mongo non-relational database and relational databases, and then presented that company with, uh, with how to then take that information and modernize their organization uh, you know, from an app and data, uh, data aspect. And that uh, wraps up my presentation. So, you know, just to kind of summarize, you know, app and data modernization, it's a it's a hard journey, uh, but it's one that if you do your due care and due diligence, identify your stakeholders, identify a, an app and a data source that, uh, that is going to make the most impact as a proof of concept type lighthouse uh, migration and modernization, uh, you will be successful and can continue to grow. And CloudReach is here to help you with that. Thanks so much, Dwayne.